Peace, peace, peace. We are about to do part two. I went on real late last night. We are about to do part two. I went on late last night, talked about it right after the whole the whole thing went down. Um, chime in, chime in. We are about to chop it up. The, the death of the Dipset Dynasty last night, man. You guys witness. <laughs> we gonna chop it up, man. We gonna chop it up, man. Drop a comment. Let me know where you at. This is no filter, too. No filter on this one, man. Dipset. Dipset let me down. My eyes watering and shit. <sighs> so. If you guys saw the... Yeah, if you guys saw the damn versus battle yesterday, very sad, very very sad. Um, a lot of confusion was going on, um, and I can I can detect very key elements in that battle. See, for me, the way my mind works, I'm I already look at it on a business level, right? Like I'm looking at it and I'm translating it because music. Music is like the soundtrack of your life. And then whatever's going on in that time, it is, you know, you can learn a lot from that. So one, one big component that I saw with the locks was the cohesiveness, right? It was, it was the unity. It was like, it was like Dipset was three solo artists going against a group and this group was just letting everybody have it and then it, it got to the point where the other two henchmen which would be styles p and chic luch which they could definitely hold their own right they said you know what we gonna let jada handle this and they just sat basically they held it down though, because when you look at what the Dipset did, they literally did not back each other up. Jim Jones and Jewels, and of course, a shout out to Freaky Zeke and shit. You know, he was just he was doing whatever he could to keep. And I think if it wasn't for Freaky Zeke, Dipset would have been dismantled a long time ago. I think he is the actual glue that keeps the whole dip set together. But what happens when the CEO of a company is no longer um, viable for that company anymore, i.e. Cameron is no longer a good CEO to carry the dip sets anymore. He's not. He's not. In the beginning, he laid the foundation. He did what he had to do. But as the dip sets have grown, Cameron has become a liability to dip set. And I hate to say because I love Cam. I love Cam. But he is no longer a good CEO of that brand. You guys seen the type of energy they brought to the whole um, versus battle. They damn near came in as solo artists and shit. Like, they didn't even come in as a unit, right? They came in as solo artists. Uh, Cameron came on late with a beach chair to a battle. He thought his swag was so optimum <laughs> that he could bring a beach chair and show up late. Now, what? Here's the, some of the things that I noticed in that battle. Right? 
is that it was almost like they had another falling out backstage right before they jumped on the stage. Because if you looked at it, if you look at their demeanor, they look like they just got into an argument. They look like they literally just got into an argument, and and it, it's sad. It's sad. And I ain't crying. My eyes just watering. There's allergies. Um, it's sad because um, that that was one of my favorite groups out of out of the best groups in the world. <coughs> Wu Tang, Mob Deep, Dipset, Locks. Wu Tang, Mob Deep. Dipset locks. Um, I love them as, as as individuals and and as groups, right? But when you saw the energy that Dipset brung in, I mean, like you know who would have helped them out a lot? Hell Rel. I was like, yo, where's Hell Rel? Hell Rel would have held them down. Hell Rel would have held them down, but Hell Rel wasn't there. Forty Cal wasn't there. Um, this was part of Dipset. You know what I mean? This was part of Dipset. Um, Hell Rel Brung, Brung has an energy that can match locks on some stuff. Now, on the freestyle tip, I don't know how he is on the freestyle tip. But as far as that gritty, grimy side of it, oh yeah. Yeah, he could definitely bring it. He could definitely bring it. But... It wasn't a fashion show. And when you get behind, when you look past the glamour and glitz and the swag, and it goes back to the essence of being a MC and a master of ceremony, that's when you see who who is who it really is, right? Another thing. It also showed me how much Hollywood played into the success of Dipset. I'm going to explain why. When you look at the Dipset videos, right? The Dipset videos were like, it was just very, very high energy, very, very gritty, very flashy. It was it was it was lit, right? Dipset's videos was lit as shit. So a lot of us was expecting that same type of energy when we saw them perform. When you when you think about uh, gangster music or whatever, that energy we thought it was gonna be translated on the stage. That shows you how important the video directors made Dipset look. They made them the the video directors of their videos really carried Dipset on their back. Shout out to all the guys that created the videos for Dipset. That's one. The second thing, shout out to Heat Makers, God damn it. Shout out to Heat Makers. Because a lot of those beats that we love and made us pay attention to those lyrics was because of Heat Makers. Because if them beats wasn't as hard as they were, I don't believe it. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, like, if, <laughs> yo. And it was that type of energy, that cohesiveness, that type of, that's what made us love Dipset. And then at that time, I don't know, you know, and it's so interesting, right? And this is why I give, This is why I give uh, Dipset, uh, The Lock, so much credit. Hold on one second. It's because they still kept that same energy uh, as if they did not make it yet. Which is a very, very hard and difficult thing to do because even 50 Cent said, like, when you start eating at these five-star restaurants 
and you are living a certain type of life after a while you can't really it's hard to fathom being in the grind being hot you know hustling from sun up to sun down and grinding like you didn't have anything somehow the locks was able to preserve that type of energy and that's what really took things to a whole nother level that's what helped them take things to a whole nother level Hold on, yeah. Hold on one second. Let's see why my video isn't working. All right, all right, we back. So, so what I have to say about that is that um, I understand that Cameron is the CEO of Diplomats or whatever. But at the same time, man, at this point, he is hurting the brand and the company because there's so much internal conflict that's going on in there. You could, like, uh, Ray Charles could see that these guys don't get along anymore. They, uh, here, here's how you know, right? If you my mans, and you doing your thing on stage, I can hold you up. I, I won't feel uncomfortable holding you up. Like, if our skins touch, it's okay, right? Like, you my mans, it's like giving a pound hug, whatever, you give hugs or whatever like that, and you hold the person down, you don't, as if your skins are touching, it doesn't bother. What you saw with the locks, where Jada Kiss will be on the stage, right? He'll be in the middle, Styles P will be holding him up like this, like his back on, on, um, on Jada's shoulder and his arm, holding him up on one side. Then you have Sheik Luch holding them up on the other side. You understand what I mean? Like that that transfer of energy, that transfer of energy went a long way. When you look at Dipset and the energy, they didn't even want to touch each other. They didn't even want, like if Jim Jones was on this side, Jewels was on that side, and Cameron was nowhere to be found. Like, you know, he was, it was like, Cameron was taking the position of like, these are my soldiers. I ain't gonna get killed with my soldiers. I'm gonna go sit back here, like like the general on his horse, and then he sends the soldiers out to get slaughtered. Right? He's not. He 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 was taking the stance of I'm not gonna fight with my soldiers like that. So he get on the beach tears, and then Styles P try to pull his ass off the, off the goddamn chair you know what i mean the energy was just fuck that 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 was their demise if they brung in the real dip set the original dip set energy the locks brung the original locks if you if you trace back to when they first started that was bad boy locks right there that was rough rider locks right there that was D block locks right there. Like all of that, it, they are so consistent. Not only that, you ain't never really hear Jada ain't fucking with. Um, I, and I see many interviews where they tried to get them to turn on each other. They'll be like, hey, Jada Kiss or, or Sheik Luch, do you know you have more albums out than any other 
any other of your dip, you know, uh, D block partners. And he's like, oh yeah, I, I didn't realize that. You know, I remember they they trying to put him on the spot, saying like, are you are you a harder worker than they are? He's like, nah, those are my family. He never shitted on them, no matter how many interviews they did, and they tried to cause a wedge because some of these interviewers they're very crafty, right? They're really really crafty, and they'll they'll mince your words, they'll sound bite your shit, and they'll they'll do some things to really get you to play into causing some friction and beef internally on your business, right? So with your group and everything, next thing you know, everybody break up, even with Wu-Tang, right? Uh, RZA and, and Raekwon the Chef, they got internal conflict right now. You know, they try to make it up, and, and I hope they really work things out or whatever, but they've had some internal con conflict for a very long time. So... Don't you think that would play into their performance? Unless they're they're a different breed, though. They 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 studied the five percent laws and all that, so they're a different breed. So they may be able to like hash a lot of that stuff out. Communication is key. Communication is key. You got problems with someone, and you already really really close with that person, and you know all you have to do is get on the phone and just chop it up, man. Like man up, dude. That shit. Like, harboring all of those ill feelings and stuff like that, and then you know that's your man? Like, that, that's, that's, that, ain't, that ain't where it's at. That's not where it's at. I think if Dips, like, I remember when, he, like, Cameron made some really, really derogatory statements about, about, um, about his co-members, you know what I mean? He, I remember he, he made some really nasty comments about Jim Jones, caused Jim Jones to actually like shed tears about it because he was like, damn, this was like my dude, this is my, my brother and shit, right? Um, I remember also when uh, Cameron sold Jim Jones, no, I'm sorry, he sold Joel Santana's contract to Def Jam. And then he was like something about like he sold him like he was a slave or some shit. He, like he made that comment or whatever. So it was like, and then you know like I remember when when Jewels wasn't getting along with Cameron, and they were meeting up at the club to, to, to throw them hands and shit. You know what I mean? So it was like it was really getting bad. It was really getting bad. And whatever it is, you guys could see that they did it for a check. They did it for a check. They did it for a check. Nothing else. Nothing else. They did it for a check. And then they announced that they're going on tour. I, I'll give Jim Jones credit because he know he knew that Dipset got taken to the cleaners. Wash, steam press, everything. Done done and then he still made a video and said hey i want to give a shout out to the locks they did a great job all of that stuff he gave them their props that 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 was big everybody else i don't, I don't know what they were camera was on some other shit some nut shit to be honest with you um jewels kind of looked at the homie's eyes man i love jewel do, 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 do. this the champ is here that's i bought that first album Jewels though, I don't know if this nigga's on Krills. I don't like his eyes was looking a little bit bugged out. You know what I mean? So no filter here, no no filter tonight, man. No filter on like Dipset. I it, I I love their swag. Shit, I love their logo. You know what I mean? Like I remember in Chicago. See one thing about Dipset. They are influencers, right? They really, really are influencers. Like here in Chicago, although Dipset is in Harlem, originated out in Harlem, here in Chicago, they had Dipset Chicago. Like niggas was tagging up, spray painting Dipset in Chicago. That's how strong their influence was out here. You know what I mean? When they weren't tagging up the locks, right maybe because of the positioning they didn't 
people didn't feel like they were part of the locks or maybe they didn't feel like they could be a part of the um of of the block but the positioning of dipset is what made them so powerful made them so so much of a of a brand you you had uh cat williams wearing the dipset chain on the movie norbit you know what i mean so people felt like this was a crew that they can literally belong to and people gravitate towards um towards groups that they can feel like they can be a part of right it's the social acceptance side of it so they did a very good positioning with that they had the dipset i mean like they had so many great fucking albums man so many great songs that they could have rolled out with the only thing i could think of they these guys had a really nasty argument right before the the show came on that's why they trickled in on stage they didn't come in as a unit you could tell the friction you could tell that they were all screw faced and shit like they, they weren't enjoying themselves that one one mc would be on this side of the Jewels would be on this side of the stage. Cameron would be way in the back. As, at a, there was a point I was like, "Yo, did Cameron show up? Did the one, the one dude that started the thing?" Couldn't find him at all. So, and, and I told you guys, I told you guys last night. I said. Watch all these videos that start popping up about Jada Kiss taking the bandana off of Jewel's head and throwing it on the floor. I told y'all that. And then now, if you go on, on YouTube, there's a million videos on that shit now. Why? Because I know that was a... that is, in, a, in New York, that, is, that was violation all day. That was violation all day. Even though it was fun and games and shit like that. That was violation because Jewels wore that bandana as a crown. And <laughs> it was comical too though. You gotta be uh, you gotta you gotta laugh at that shit. It was fucking comical because at the end of the day it was like basically Jada Kiss and Styles Peak corner went over to the corner where Jewels was, right? They cornered him and shit. And Jewels, you know, he was fresh out the bing or whatever. He just got out of jail. He, he felt a little swole, a little brolic or whatever. So he was like, "Man, I'll, 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 I'll punch hole through your, um, through through your set, right?" Which was a, another different level of violation. But it wasn't. It it could have went over a lot of people's heads right there. So basically, Joel Santana bogarted through their unit right and if you're from the hood you will you will know that anytime you walk in as a unit one person is not supposed to uh go around a pole like a light pole like if there's if there's four of you guys and you guys are walking down the street you know, one unless you give the person acceptance to walk past you you don't let that person through if you're walking down the street and then out of four of you guys, one person decides to go around a pole. Like in New York, they'd be like, "Nigga, go back around." Like you, you don't, you don't cut the unit like that. So you had you had Jada Kiss, <laughs> you had Jada Kiss, and then you had Styles P, and then they had Jewel Santana uh, cornered right here, and then Jewel Santana bust through the unit so technically from hood niggas perspective and, and and upbringing that was a violation and then he walked with the bravado hey, i think i'm, I'm bullshitting hold on i'll put i'll bring it up for you right now hold on hold on i want to explain to you guys and show you guys exactly what i'm talking about here man hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let me pull it up for you man I'll bring y'all into the New York world real quick. Why is it not 
not let me share. All right, here we go. No, no, no. Yeah, we're good. All right, check it out. Right? <laughs> Hold up. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to try to find that part where he threw the bandana down. And I'm going to show you where the violation started. They'll probably flag this real quick. But I'm going to take the volume off. I'm going to take the volume off. So they can't even flag it. There ain't no sound. There ain't no sound. So. So I'm going to show you where the whole. The, it it could have got ugly. It could have got ugly early. I don't know. Freaky Zeke was trying to keep the energy up, man. It just it just wasn't flying. It really wasn't flying, man. It wasn't flying at all. Um, <laughs> shout out to Sheik Luch. He, he straight up before the even the set even started. He said, "Them niggas is pussy." Like off the rip. I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "Okay." We're going there. We're going there. But well, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get this shit right. I'm going to get this right. Hold up. Hold up, fam. Hold up, fam. Okay. Let's talk about it, man. I was like, man, I got to talk. Because this was like Timberland and Swiss Beats got on here and was like, this was one of the most monumental shows they've ever done. And they've done shows with Jay-Z, uh, a bunch of other people and they was like this show right here they sold out the garden in in 15 minutes in 15 minutes this was very highly anticipated um new york needed this shit i know i needed it i needed to get back into that Hold on. yeah and Jim Jones, he, he he tried to hold it down, man. He tried to, but it it wasn't there. It, like like these those three right there. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. We gotta break down this video with zero sound, and then you guys could chime in, tell me your thoughts on it. Hey, don't that look, don't uh, Jim Jones look like Max B right there? You know, a lot of people were saying that, you know, Jim Jones took Max B style. Um, Styles P actually says shout out to Max B on it um, because there was a lot of speculation saying that Jim Jones did take Max B style. Okay, let's see here. But you see, you see what I mean right there? How they holding each other down? Like, like they're, they're not afraid of putting their hand around each other and backing each other up and stuff. You see the chemistry. You see the cohesiveness, the unity on there. They're moving together as a unit, right? They're moving together as a unit. And if one has more, you see, look, look, shoulder to shoulder. Military style military style right there how how could you go as an individual against a navy seal like a navy seal team these guys literally was moving as an you see how they backing each other up you see how they holding each other down now let me show you how dipset was getting down
Hold up. Let, 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 let's let's stick, and then you can see it in the beginning too. We 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 doing a com we gotta do a breakdown right now of this show, and you can learn this from your business, even for your business, man. If you if you and your team are not moving as a unit, you will you will lose, you will fail. You will fail, as you've seen with Dipset. They did not move like a unit, and they got taken to the cleaners, washed, thrown in the corner, thrown in the dumpster. Ain't worth nothing. Like, they lost business. trying to hit me with hella ads. I word to my mom, I don't know what the hell that nigga Jewel was wearing. <laughs> you know, Jewels was tweaking, man. Like that whole outfit was nigga, that outfit was Fucking whack as hell. Look at that shit, yo. Like, what was that? One of them zip-up hoodies or something? With a, he had a hat. With a bandana around the hat. With a, with a, with a do-rag. That shit, that shit look, nah, man. Do I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. That attire was absolutely atrocious. That shit was garbage. I don't know who told... That nigga was better off not wearing that shit at all. He just wore a t-shirt and his bandana. That shit was horrible. <laughs> okay. So let's get into it, right? Right, right around the beginning. Right around the beginning. Too much confusion over here. People came to watch the show. Everybody off the stage accordingly, bro. Everybody go off the stage. Let's get the show on the road. Too much going on. Let's go off the stage accordingly, bro. Everybody go off the stage. Talk with a heart full of hatred. And 271 can't get you. All that man blood is sacred. Everybody's a snake that's not trying to keep the grass. All that man blood is sacred. Everybody's a snake that's not trying to keep the grass. Okay. So, okay, so, okay, so, all right, my bad, my bad. So, uh, check it with the audio, right? I want you to see how they're moving in the beginning, right? This is their opening song. If you hope we wouldn't make it fuck you, right? Now, I want you to see the chemistry that's there. You see how Styles P is uh, keeping his eye on Dipset. They're, he's letting them know, like, we will, we, you see how they're moving. They're moving like military. Like, if you look at some of the military uh, movies, like Navy SEALs, elite performance and stuff like that, when they are coming around a the corner, there'll be a military man that will point, point his gun. And then he will wait till his other partner come, tap him on the back, and then say, all right, come on. And then the other person will not move until that the previous person that turned around the corner, his back touches his back. And then they start walking towards their goal, right? 
So right there, you saw that Styles P was trying to pull him off his lawn chair because he's like, this ain't, this is a battle, man. Like, you're trying to act like we light work? We ain't light work. They're, they came for war. See, look, look. He didn't even know Sheik Lucha was behind him. He touched him. He didn't feel offended by it. He was like, that's my man's. That's my man's, right? So let's take a look at the energy of Dipset. Now, as you guys can see, it's only Jim Jones and Jewel Santana in the front and Freaky Zeke. Where is Cameron? That's what I'm saying, man. This nigga's a bad CEO. Like, he's the CEO that has to go now. Like, he served this purpose. He did what he was supposed to do. Now it's time for him to go. Like, where, where, where's Cameron? With his group. You make your you're making your people's look like flunkies right now, like they they're they're sacrificial lamb, like they can be sacrificed. See, he's in the back, right? While they're up, you see how like no one's backing each other up. Nobody like now. Jewels is up on stage by himself in the front. Jewels is like, I want the smoke. But it, it was too much for him. Too much energy going on there. He had, to, he had to go. He had to go. Because Jim wasn't there. Jewels wasn't there to back him up and make it theatrical. You can make the shit theatrical. Nothing have to kick off. Nothing have to fight. You can make it very Shakespearean. The, being a master of ceremony is, is putting that infliction into your, your, your music. Like, when you see, like, if they're talking about smoking, they'll make a hand gesture of smoke. If they're talking about tying or if they're talking about shooting, they'll make the gesture of whatever it is. It's supposed to be theatrical, right? But, and, and mind you, Dipset is very good in making things theatrical, but they did not have each other's back that night. These guys, the locks, was like, this is our show. You guys are just opening acts for us. You are just opening acts for us. New, the, let's talk about the attire. Let's talk about the attire. First of all, Jada Kiss had classic New York attire right there. That is like 100% classic New York attire. Um, okay, now I want you to look at this real quick. There, Cameron is like, yeah. show me one, show me a, a time where they like, look, Jim Jones tried to give him a sho shoulder bump and like help, help him keep that energy up, right? But for the most part, it looked like Cameron was performing by himself. <clears throat> And everybody is on away from him. Shout out to Jim, man. Jim, if anybody should be the new CEO, it should be Capo. Capo should be the new CEO of fucking Dipset. Straight up. He should be the new CEO. Cameron, Cameron... He's, he's moved on to other things. He's like he's like that guy that started WeWork and it's time for him to like move on to a, the next business and let somebody else run it. Let somebody else run that shit. <clears throat> the energy was 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 so so Weak. <laughs> now, what Jade is doing right there, 
of course he's taunting them, right? It's just like basketball or any other sports. You talk your players out of their game. You talk them out of their groove. And if you let them get into your head, it's a rap. It's just like battle rapping. This was like nothing more than smack, you know, smack battle rapping, but with entertainers that we we know and love already, like that have a history, that has a catalog, that have Grammys and all of that stuff. Like these are established rappers that are like on a smack type platform. This was this was such a great versus, man. A wonderful, wonderful. I I, was, I loved it. So now they get into a shouting match. Now here, here's the thing, right? Harlem is known for like, you know, when they get into what I guess like a shouting match or they they're dissing, they're riding you dirty dozens, whatever you want to call it. They're good at that shit. So they're good at talk talking you out your game. Like in the beginning, Cameron was t talking about what the hell is Styles P wearing calling them a leprechaun and all that other shit. <laughs> like, they're good at talking you out of your game. Really, really good at that shit. But it was just too much, it was too much energy. It, they were overpowered. Like, like, <laughs> I saw a meme of they took Dipset's faces and put it on that, that classic movie Harlem Nights and where Eddie Mer um the three guys were, two of them were shooting the machine gun and then one guy had the handgun. So, well, in this case, Dip said they all had handguns, and then the locks had machine guns. And they got smoked. You see what I mean? How Styles P is keeping an eye out on a crowd? He keeps an eye out on a crowd. Sheik Luch is making sure his man is good. It's it, it's different, man. That I have like a whole new respect for. They are the original unit, right? The locks unit. That is like the way they moved was like I don't think any group minus Wu Tang, My, and, and 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 that might be tough too. That might be tough too. Might Wu Tang might be able to, you know, give the locks a run for their money, but I would still put my money on the locks. And I'll say the reason why I would do that is because whatever internal conflict that the locks have, it never sees the light of day. Therefore, when you see them together, you would think like they're all biologic biological brothers. Like, there's nothing that can rip us apart. We've seen Dipset get ripped apart and their whole dirty laundry gets thrown into the media. We've seen it with Wu-Tang. It got, th th their dirty laundry got thrown into the media. Um, who else? We've seen, we've seen a lot of groups get, you know, um, even Bone Thugs and Harmony. <clears throat> I think Lazy, Lazy Bone wasn't fucking with the rest of the group at one time. And he was like, he, he didn't feel like he should be performing with them. Got thrown into the laundry. It's very, very hard for groups to stay together. Look at NWA. What happened with NWA, right? Um, went down, did not move at, the, like this, these guys, even uh, G-Unit. G-Unit. Their dirty laundry, the whole Young Buck and Lloyd Banks doesn't want to rock with 50 and all of this stuff. Like, we we have not seen a unity like this. Locks have demonstrated a strong bond to us, a really, really strong bond. And I, I salute them on that. That is 
phenomenal. And like I said, if it wasn't for Freaky Zeke, I think they would have been dismantled a long time ago. Uh, Freaky Zeke was the one person that was keeping the glue together. Like, he would still get in contact with Jim Jones. He was still keeping contact with, with Cameron and Jewels, and then he would hash things out behind the scenes. That's why he doesn't have to rap. Because if it wasn't for him, like, this show probably wouldn't even be going on right now. So shout out to Freaky Zeke, man, for keeping the unit together. But right now, it's like Cameron got to go. Cameron got to keep doing his movies. He's a great, you know, actor, act, you know, director. Uh, he, he got his hands on a lot of different businesses. Keep doing that, Cam. Like this music stuff now, you running and being the CEO and then putting your peoples out there. You see how, like, they're not around each other. They almost like don't want to be around each other's energy like that. Jewel is rather is having more fun taunting the locks than than actually backing up his man on on stage. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little part two of this versus battle, man. That that's my take on it. The locks win by a dozen. <laughs> they win by a dozen, cousin. <laughs> Rest in peace to Dipset. Clean up on aisle Dipset. You know, them motherfuckers is yeah. They're going on tour. I hope that shit works out. If I want to go to the concert, literally, I would go to see the locks. I'd fuck like like. I'm gonna go listen to the locks after this, man. Like, I'm a new, I'm a new, new and improved locks fan. Damn. What this was a great show. This was a great show. Shout out. So peace, love, and happiness, and cash flow to you guys. I wish you guys the very best. You heard?